Hey, what's happening, everybody? It is Jason Thrifts, and I am back. And I'm going to be doing these shorter videos, uh, sharing my tips, my tricks, my scores, maybe some duds, uh, along with my two weekly YouTube shows. I know not everybody has an hour, or in this case, since I do two shows a week, two hours to watch an entire show. But I thought I would do some shorter videos, break them down into, uh, you know, five to 10 minute uh, videos and share the scores with you, and then always throw in a couple bonuses uh, from that no one has seen yet. So make sure to uh, check these out when they come up. Plus, I'm always probably going to offer some little extra nuggets of advice or learning or something. All right? So without further ado, let's get right to the scores of the week. All right. So this is not the most exciting score of the week, this Boston Red Sox uh, t-shirt, but it is uh, unique in the fact that it only cost me $1 at Savers. And this one is especially unique because it was 99 cent t-shirt day at Savers. And I hit, <clears throat> and this was a while back. So pre-COVID, I hit all six Savers here in Vegas. And of course, the first one I went to had the most t-shirts that I bought. And by the time I got to number six, it had been picked over all day long. There was really nothing good left except this. This was the one good t-shirt left at the last savers on sale day. So I only spent 99 cents and I sold it for $21. So pretty good return on my dollar investments. All right. Now we're going to go from a $30, uh, $21 t-shirt to holy schmoly's a 500. I actually took an offer of $575 for this tiki mug. Now, if you've known me for two minutes, you know I love all things tiki and tiki mugs. If you have not started hunting down tiki mugs yet, look at the money you're missing out on. And bonus fun fact, I bought this on eBay for a lot less. Someone mispriced it. Luckily, a friend pointed out to me I had not seen it, snagged it, sat on it for a while, waited till the price went back up. And it did, and boom, $575. And for those of you who do have a general idea of what a tiki mug is, this might not look like your average tiki mug. This is a Papua New Guinea drum mug, uh, in resemblance of a Papua New Guinea drum. So it might not be something you would normally used to see in. So $575 for one little old tiki mug. All right, bras. I have become known as the king of big bras. Now, although... Uh, 44 triple D is not that big. And there, I'm sure there's someone saying right now, 44 triple D is not that big. I usually purchase and, and flip size L and M and N and K's and double G's. Yeah. Uh, I have found some big bras and I, I didn't realize that I had become so known for flipping big bras that I was at an estate sale. That was just a house full of mid-century modern stuff. I was grabbing some black velvet paintings. There was great furniture and all the things that go along with mid-century modern. So it wasn't there for the bras or anything like that. But as I'm grabbing black velvet paintings, a guy leans in and whispers, there's no large bras I already checked. And I'm like, ooh, someone recognized me. <laughs> and they know what I look for. But I paid two bucks for this one. Uh, it was it was cute. And I flipped it for $23.51. Now, this is not the biggest flip in the world, another $21 t-shirt. However, you always have to look and think about places you can source and what you can turn into revenue. My wife and I and a couple friends met for brunch at Dukes in Malibu six months ago, maybe. And as the waiter was refilling my mimosa, he dumped it in my lap. So, of course, he cleaned it up. He comped my mimosa and, as an extra apology, gave me this t-shirt. And I flipped it for $21. So my brunch ended up being free that day. So always, always think about places you can source and what can you turn into uh, cash that wasn't cash initially. You know I love flipping media. When I say flipping media, I mean cassettes. I mean CDs. I mean A-tracks. I mean records. I mean reel-to-reels. And each week I do spotlight some CDs and cassettes that I flip. First one is ZZ Top Triple X. Sold on eBay for $16.79. I paid a uh, dollar for it. And even better, Marilyn Manson, Antichrist Superstar, paid $4 for, for it and sold it for $30 on Amazon. Used. Someone in the world needed Antichrist Superstar used on cassette for 30 bucks. Let that sink in for a minute. And if you're not already hunting for cassettes, you should be. Because the nice thing about cassettes and CDs is they're super easy to ship. When we shipped that almost $600 Tiki mug, it was big. It had the handle. There was a lot more effort that went into shipping that 
than shipping this cassette. So keep your eyes peeled. Now, let's talk about flipping CDs. This uh, is G Guns N' Roses, Use Your Illusion 1, uh, excuse me, 2, and uh, I sold it for 16 bucks. Now, you might think, Jay, why you even highlighting a $16 CD? Well, it's not that it was like the biggest sale, because obviously it wasn't, but here's what they normally go for. So if you don't know Guns N' Roses, they release two albums on the same day, Use Your Illusion 1 and Lose, Use Your Illusion 2. It probably should have just been a double album, but oh well. So here's someone who just sold both of them for $2.97. Now, why did I get 16 Well, A, because it's sealed. And B, because it has the hype sticker. Now, the hype sticker is something that adds to value on both records and CDs. And that is something that I teach in my flipping CDs courses, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, this Malcolm X CD, I paid $5 for, sold it for $24 on Amazon. And the unique thing about this, you know, the world works in mysterious ways. Us online sellers, We'll, we'll go touch something that hasn't sold in a while. We'll talk about something that hasn't sold in a while. And then, boom, it sells. So I listed this Malcolm X CD in January. And last Saturday night, my friend John Lawson and myself, we talked about, uh, we had a little live YouTube show called Ebony and Ivory, Real Talk About Race, and where uh, a white man and a black man sat down and talked about race, racism, what it, uh, what it mean what it meant to grow up in the 70s how our ideals have changed and so it was a good thought provoking conversation i encourage everyone to go search it out right here on my youtube channel jason t smith but we did that saturday night and i woke up to the malcolm x sale the next morning it had been listed for 5 months and so it sold the the night after i talked about uh, race and race issues weird but i will take it so uh, check out FlippinCDs.com. I have all these courses. <clears throat> My most current one is Flippin' CDs number two. That is a continuation of number one. It is all new material from number one. It runs, I think, about three hours or maybe two hours and 45 minutes, but it's long. It's long. Now, if you go and purchase that, the second you find one good CD based on what I've taught you, it is paid for the whole thing. And as soon as you find two, it's pure profit from that point on. Now, when you're signing up for Flippin' CDs, you can then uh, add on what we're calling the full Monty. Flippin' CDs, number one. Flippin' CDs, number two. Flippin' cassettes. Flippin' print CDs. Flippin' Christmas CDs. Flippin' anime CDs. You can get 10 hours of video content. Actionable video content, meaning you listen, you learn, you go find, you make money. It's really that simple. So get it get, get it checked out, flippincds.com. And uh, you will be uh, on your way to adding thousands of dollars to your bottom line. I guarantee you. Now, the last uh, CD I'm going to share today is by Insane Clown Posse. You might not know because it doesn't say it anywhere on here, but I know. And it's called The Mighty Death Pop. Now, I only got $39 for it. I did pay $15. The problem was, and the only problem that it's really unfixable, like when you sell a CD, uh, like, look, this case is pretty beat up. Uh, Patty wrote her name on it and she wrote her name on the tray. Once I put a fresh case on, that's all gone. It, it's clean and brand new. In this cardboard box, there were two CDs. The cases were mint, the CDs were mint, but the box was all scuffed up. So I couldn't do anything about the box. The box is the box. It's the cardboard box. And so I had to downgrade it from like new, which it would have been if the box had been in great shape to very good. But I did explain CDs are mint, box is scuffed up. So I could have got more, but I a little bit over doubled my money, and that's not bad. That is not bad when you're flipping CDs. Of course, you love when you find the dollar ones, and they turn out to be $50 ones. But I sell so many, and they're so quick and easy to list. Doubling my money, that's I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Oh, I did have one more CD. Yeah, this was a Janet Jackson remix promo CD, so it was never commercially available for sale. It's got five or six remixes on it. Let me see here. Uh... Eight, eight remixes, and uh, I paid two bucks at a secondhand store and sold it for $29. Another good thing to keep your eye out on that I teach in Flippin' CDs is all about promos. Okay, last thing on my first Scores of the Week video is this t-shirt I just stole, uh, <laughs> just sold, a t-shirt of Stiv Baders. Now, most of you are going to be like, who the heck is Stiv Bader? Stiv Baders was the lead singer of two bands. Uh, first band was the Dead Boys, Straight Up, 
old school, late seventies, early eighties punk band. And then, uh, then he moved on and formed Lords of the new church, way more new wavy. And so I found three Stiv Bader's t-shirts at Buffalo exchange for $11 each. Now I know Stiv Bader's and a lot of people don't like everyone will probably know Johnny Rotten and Sid Vicious from the Sex Pistols. Not so many people know Stiv. Same time frame, bands, uh, same kind of sound. <clears throat> uh, but I'm going to show you where Stiv uh, came from. Now, when you listen to the Dead Boys, you're going to be like, oh, that is either so New York City punk in the late 70s or the UK punk. Nope. Let me show you where Stiv came from. But I wanted to show you. Uh, the bummer was these shirts were small and I found three of them. They were $11 each. And I, I priced them pie in the sky pricing, 150 bucks because no one had these Stiv Bader shirts. But the amount of Stiv Bader customers and the amount of customers who are size small are going to be very few and far between. But I always have best offer. So although I had a $149.99 on this Stiv shirt, I, I took an offer of 50 bucks. I've had it up for a while and 50 bucks is kind of where I want to be because... This was this first Stiv shirt that I sold. And this too, I had up for $150 and I sold it for $50. So that is obviously the going rate for a Stiv Bader's t shirt in small. I still have one left and I'll probably change the price. I won't drop it all the way to $50, but I will lower it a bit. It'll re it'll re show up in people's searches that I've lowered the price. So hopefully that'll spur that. Now, like I said, listen to the Dead Boys and then think about this. Like I said, sounds like New York City punk or the UK punk. Yeah, Stiv grew up down the road from where I grew up in Girard, Ohio. Let me make this a little bit bigger. And Girard, Ohio is right, south, right outside of Youngstown, Ohio, which is right on the border of Pennsylvania. And let me zoom out a smidge. As you can see, all these little dots here are Cleveland. So southeast of Cleveland, not the hotbed of punk rock activity in the late 70s, early 80s. But that's where Stiv came from. He was a uh, hometown Ohio boy, just like myself. So uh, there is your education on uh, Stiv Baders and everything else I shared this week. So don't forget, Thursday nights, only on YouTube, Thrifty Business. That is my weekly show where I have a co-host, I have a guest. We talk uh, thrifting, we talk eBay, we talk Macari, we talk Posh. We talk vintage stuff, all kinds of fun stuff. And then on Sunday with my mother, we host Selling Past Your Expiration Date, being thrifty or 50, where it's just me and her. And we take one subject and go a little bit slower and, and really draw it out uh, to explain how to do this, how to do that. And uh, we also share my mom's scores and hauls of the week. So thank you very much for tuning in for the first weekly uh, thrift scores. And I'll be doing these uh, every week, hence the weekly. And I'll see you around YouTube and in the thrifting board. This is Jason Thrift signing out saying have a good day and thrift on. Thrift on.